Good morning everybody, I'm Christy and this is my channel Java Girl Stitches and today I am finally getting around to my bow tutorial. So let's get started. What you're going to need is the ribbon that you would like. I use really thin wire, you're going to need that to wrap around the bows. Um, some pliers or cutters <clears throat> and I think these are needle nose pliers, you're going to need these too. And some scissors of course. So the first bow that I'm going to show you how to make is this one. And this is just pretty much the easiest, simplest bow um, to make out of all of them. So we'll start with this one first. So you're gonna pick out whatever ribbon that you want. And I usually, do, I cut mine, pre-cut it, but you usually I don't, I just start forming it off the roll and then I cut for however big I want. So basically you're just folding this over and then holding this side over so it looks like you have a bow. And this one's gonna have two colors in it. So you lay that one down, and then I have my yellow piece of ribbon. And again, I'm folding this over so you have another bow. And try to make sure that both sides are pretty much even and the same, otherwise your bow's gonna look a little wonky. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the yellow bow and I'm going to center it on top of the black bow. So make sure you have, you know, pretty much the same amount of gap and space on both sides of your ribbon. And then all you're gonna do is I scrunch up, try to find the middle, and you're gonna scrunch, just scrunch up the middle like that. And then we're gonna wrap wire around it. Now, once you wrap your wire, if one side is longer than the other, it's okay because you're going to be able to move the wire. You can move it over a little bit to make it so it's absolutely perfect. Okay, so my wire, I'm sticking underneath the bow. I'm finding the center, and I'm hoping you guys can see because I know my hands are in the way. I'm taking the wire, and I am tightening it, and I'm twisting it and then I twist it, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm twisting it, I twist it about four, five, six times. Oops, it's not in the picture. So see, it's twisted around the middle of the ribbon. And it looks like it's pretty centered. This side might be a little bit longer, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking the wire and I'm edging it over the opposite way to where it needs to be so it's more perfect on each side, like that. And then I just take the wire and I'm flipping it to the back. And then I just cut it off. Don't cut off too much because the first take I did of this, I cut off too much. And then you see you'll have a little piece of wire in the back and I just tuck it down. And then there, is that ribbon. And then what I do is I kind of fluff, I move these, the thing is you can still, you can move these around, your bows, your, the, the tails around, and then I fluff up this part of the ribbon. And that can go down, and you just fluff it up. And that's what it looks like. And then what you do, the last thing, you're going to just cut your, cut your edges. And I always cut mine, I don't know if you can see if I put it down. On these ones, I just cut them sideways. Like that. And then you do the same with the black. But there is your first bow. The easiest one to me to make. And then of course, yes, you are gonna have wire here. And some people do use pipe cleaners. I do not because I think it's more bulky and I'm trying to make the middle of the bow uh, not as bulky so it doesn't stick out as much. And then you can add your covered button in the middle. You can do a flower in the middle. Or, like these are the wood stars which someone asked me where I got these from and they are from Michaels. And you could, or you could stick a star. And I just, oops, it's not straight. Um, I got these at Michaels and I just painted them and sanded off the edges. So that is the simplest way to do um, these kind of bows. And like on this picture here, so what I did is I did the black bow first, I tied that around, and then I did two 
of these bows and I made one smaller and one bigger and then I tied those two around with wire and then I hot glued these two to this one. And when I hot glue them down, so say I have this one and I'm gonna hot glue it to another one, I smoosh it down really, really good. Um, just so they're not as bulky. So that is how you make that bow. That's your first one. Okay, moving on. Second bow that I'm gonna show you guys how to make is, uh, it's kinda hard to see because my camera's kinda low, but that's the second one I'm gonna show you guys how to make. I hope you can kinda see that one. And this is a different style. I don't know if you can see it better over there. <clears throat> okay, again, this one is a little bit different. And what you're gonna do with this one is you're gonna have three different pieces of ribbon. And all I do is for my first layer, I have a piece and you're just folding one part over and then you're folding the second part over. And then you can kind of smoosh it in the middle and see how big your first piece is going to be. And then, the, so this is the back part, I lay it down just like this. And then my second piece that's gonna go behind it, sorry, wire in the way, same thing. You're cutting a piece of ribbon, and I again, I leave it on the bolt. Um, and then I will go and kind of measure. So then I'm just folding this side over, and I'm folding this side over, and then you're flipping it. So you're, that part is in the back. And then I'm just laying this one down and I'm laying the shorter bow on top of it. And then you can kind of see, make sure you have the same amount of space between both of those. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> there's two different ways that I make these bows. So this one has a long piece in the back, which again, you're just gonna lay right on top. Make sure you have the same amount of space. And that's if you want to have like a little tail at the end. If you want it to be like this one, all you're gonna do is you're doing two different color bows. I'm using the same color ribbon, but you can use two separate bows. It's done the exact same way. You just don't add the tail. You're just taking two of them and squishing them together. So what you're gonna do, make sure they're kind of lined up so you're not seeing all the wonky ribbon everywhere. So that's what it's gonna look like. I need a long piece for this one. And then again, my wire. And again, you're smooshing in the middle. And I'm just, let me try to show you the better this way. I just kind of squish and squish and squish like that. So this is, has three, so it's a little bit thicker. But again, find your middle, your wire, you're wrapping around the back, and then trying to find the middle here. Again, you are taking the, the, the wire and you're tightening it as much as you can and you're twisting it again, around and around. And sometimes when you do this, especially with thicker, when you're using like three sets of ribbon, you're, not, you're only gonna get it, the wire so tight and that's okay because I will show you how to tighten it up even more if you like. Okay, I'm tying this, I'm doing this wire around here quite a few times. So there you're gonna see I have wire right there. And again, this side is shorter. So this is why you don't super tighten it. I'm just taking it and I'm moving, I'm trying to move the wire over a little bit. Okay, that's, that's still a little, we need to keep moving it. And I just use my nails and move it over a little bit more until I think it's pretty close to even. And again, so with this one, once it's where you want it, I take these kind of pliers and I just go to the very end and you can just twist a little bit more and that will tighten your wire even more. And again, then you have this wire up here and you're just gonna flip it around the back and I cut it off. And this will be hot glued in the back so you're not even gonna see it. 
Okay, and then you're fluffing up your bows. And sometimes in the, in the middle here, it gets a little wonky, so you have to play with it. You can kind of, you know, turn down this part. You can make it look better. So there's that one. And then yes, I do fluff up the back one also on both of them. And you just stick your finger in there and kind of poof them out a little bit. And then see, you have a good bow. Now, how I cut these off, I do these differently. Before, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm late to the party and it took me a while to figure this out, that there was an easier way to cut these perfectly. So before, I would cut like one end and then another end like that. But there is an easier way. You fold over your ribbon. So see how it's, e it's even at the ends like that? And then you cut towards the end there. Oops. And look, absolutely perfect. So yes, that was a new trick I just learned. I'm like, I don't know where the heck I was. I was late to the party here. And now I know how to do it perfectly. So again, you're just folding it over. And you're cutting it from here and you're cutting it up towards there to the end. And then look, they all, they're all they both perfect and they match. And like I said, just keep messing with it. Keep fluffing it up. Keep making it as perfect as you can and it will look totally fine. Okay, and that's that one. And again, <coughs> you can put your covered button. I'm trying to, you can put your covered button in it. Or this one's really cute with a flower too, or a flower. And again, then also, like I said, if you don't want these little tails on the side, you can just do the two ribbons and you can just have that. And yes, mine is not going perfect today, but you get the idea. And the key to it, keep fluffing them until you like them and they're perfect. Or, or as perfect as you can get. Like mine are not perfect. I know you guys, uh, I love all the compliments, like you make the best bows. They are not perfect. And you're always gonna have the wire in the middle, so that is why I always have to put something in the middle. But that's fine because I like it. I like <clears throat> adding little things in the middle. I think it makes it look better. So that is that bow. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I think one more bow I will give you an idea on. And this one, is a doubled up bow on both of these. And what's great about both of these ribbons, the tan ribbon is probably one of my favorites because you don't have to, um, you can keep just wrapping it around because it, it's the same on each side. So you're not gonna notice. Um, you don't have to you know, make one bow one way and then cut it and then do another one. This looks the same both ways. So let me cut this off because this is weird right here. Okay, so say you wanna make a double ribbon like this one. You're going to start with your, you know, making your bow again, like you would do the other ones. So there's one, but with this one, all you have to do is flip that, make sure it's even, pretty even with that one. You're just gonna flip it and then it's gonna go behind, and then you're just doing another one just like it. I hope that may kind of, sh I can show you and it made sense. That one's a little long up there. So see, you have like four. And <clears throat> then all, again, so this one's on the roll, so then I'm just gonna cut this off. And no, it's not cut off good, <laughs> but you're gonna fix that. So see, there you go. Let me show you one more time because I'm not sure that that was absolutely perfect. But again, you're making like the first bow, one. And then with this extra long tail, you're flipping that underneath. So, and make sure they're even. You're flipping it underneath. So you can see it's in the back. And then in the back, basically, you're doing the same thing, you're wrapping it again. Let me try to get this so it's good. And so see then, you have two on each side. And that's what I love about this ribbon, because you only have to do it in one step. 
And then again, you're squishing it down in the middle like that. Got my wire again, wrapping it around the back and you're going in the middle and you're twisting it again. And again, I'm twisting it like four or five times. And there you go. And then once this is done, then you just, you can move this around. Like this side is a little bit shorter than that one. But you're just moving the ribbon up and down, kind of making it separated a little bit. And whichever way it wants to separate, that's the way you let it separate. And then again, you're just going to take the wire, twist it to the back, and see this one's a little loose where I have a little bit of space there. So I'm just taking these again and I'm going to the very bottom of it and I'm twisting it. And that is going to make the bow tighter. Because the tighter this is around, but do not tighten it until once you know that this is perfect. And then you just flip it around again and you cut it off. And then you cut your little side, your little tails sideways. And so that's how you do the one with two. And you can also do it with three, which I have done. Let's see. So this is more tan ribbon. And this one, the exact same way. You're making your first bow like that and then tucking this under and behind. So there's your second loop. And you're not twisting it in the back or anything. That's what's so wonderful about this. You're just laying it down. So see, we already have two. We'll say you wanted a, a little bit more fancy. You're just basically going with the thing of the ribbon and you're twisting it and now you have three on this side. Can you see? Yes, okay. And then one more on the top up there and you'll have three. And again, same thing. You're just squishing the middle and then doing the wire. And also another ribbon that works good with this is like this black ribbon. So it's pretty much the same on each side. So like for this one, I did two. So again, you're folding and you're making your first little bow. And because it doesn't matter, you can flip it back to the back again. There's your second, can you see? Yeah, one, two, second loop. It's hard to see with the camera. And then there's your second loop there. And so then you have a double one and you just again squish it like that and tie it. And then the I like these to use these on top of, you know, so say we have this bow, I like to add those to, to the top of those. And then again, covered button, whatever you like in the middle. Okay, and then what's great like if you can see this one right here, again, this one I know is really hard to see. It has red right here, and I know I'm slouching down. I'm all awkward today. I'm a little nervous. I've never done a tutorial before, so bear with me. But this right here is thin ribbon, and that one I think is wrapped about four times. And so I have my roll of red right here. And again, same concept, except for you're doing it, you're going over, so you have your first little bow and then just wrapping it back and forth again. So there's one, there's two. And like I said, you don't have to twist it or anything. It just automatically goes. So see, I already have three on this side, three on that side, and then I'm gonna do it one more time and make four. And then basically you're cutting this off and again, you are squishing it together and you're putting wire. And this one, because um, there's four, it, I mean, this one is not perfect. As you can see, some are longer than the other, but um, it just goes right into the middle of that one. And you're gonna stick a flower or a bow on top. So, and it's gonna be kind of crazy. And once you get the wire on, you can move these around a little bit, but it's not like a huge, it's not like a, a flower because the flowers are hard. And I would show you, but I have not mastered those yet, so I'm just showing you these ones. But you can do these little ones like this with, um, with any kind of ribbon that is exactly the same on both sides. So you have the tan, I have the black, I have the red, 
And then also this exact same thing with the um, jute. You do the exact same concept. So that is pretty much the main bows that I do make. I am gonna show you, these are the covered buttons. This is just a small pack. You are, are going to need to buy the main one with a kit. And in the kit comes a little plastic circle. And basically what you're doing is sticking this on top of the material. I'm trying to see if I can grab some material here. You're putting it on the material and you're just cutting a circle, a circle around it. And then it's also gonna come with one of these and this little thing. And then it comes with two parts to your button. This is the top and this is the bottom part. And basically you're gonna take this part and you're gonna stick the material around it. You're gonna stick it into this little hole and then you're gonna take all the material and tuck it in. And then this little top, your top part goes right on, right on top of that and then this goes on top of that, and you push it in, and then it's gonna push this into the material, and you're gonna pull this out, and you're gonna come out with a covered button. So make sure when you buy your first set that it has all of these little uh, doodads in it, because then after that, you know, all you need to do is buy these. And I would buy the entire kit. I think I found mine at Joann's. I think that's the best place. It comes with a way bigger, um, box of these buttons and it comes with all the accessories then after that I think I got these at Hobby Lobby You can go to Hobby Lobby and just start buying the buttons and I believe Michaels might have them too But you are gonna need the full kit to get started with so I think that is everything um, so I hope that you guys all understand I've never done a tutorial before so I don't know how great it is and if I if you can see everything if you have any questions feel free to message me on Instagram Feel free to message me um, uh, through my email. I will be glad to, you know, if there's a certain part you're having problems with, I'll be glad to do another little quick video and send it to you. Um, but I hope that you kind of understand they're not really hard, it's just, they just take a little bit of time. And sometimes, like I said, your middles are gonna be a little weird and you just have to play with them. And I'm not gonna lie, there's many times where I've done this and I've taken, I just cut the wire off because I'm like, nope, I don't like how that works. Once you get used to it, you're gonna know how to bunch them up to make the bow look the best that it can be. And like I said, if the middle is a little wonky, it's okay, don't even worry about it. Just fluff up those bows as much as you can and you're gonna cover that wire with something cute and no one's even gonna know what the inside of it looks like. And I think pretty much everybody does that. Um, so this is uh, the bow tutorial I hope you all enjoyed it and again any questions please feel free to um, email me contact me and I will try to help you as much as I can so thank you everybody for stopping by and you guys all have a great day